Yo, what is going on guys? It is Pokemon Ranger Flame here bringing you guys my review on this episode 33 Mega Skeptile vs Raichu. I received some XP. So the live stream for the, Jap the Japan channel has actually just been live not too long ago. I've already posted that episode and it is blowing up already. So thank you guys uh, for that. And we just reached 20 thousand views on this channel that is absolutely incredible and thank you guys so much uh but going to this episode guys i'm gonna be going like kind of like kind of frame by frame of what the episode was and my reaction to it because there is some awesome parts in it but there's really some disappointments in it as well that i am very very sad about but i'm gonna try to go through the whole thing as well if i miss anything make sure to leave it down in the comment below so i could check it out uh and also maybe reply to you and everything like that uh, but let's go right into the episode. So starting off with the episode, guys, this is episode 33 of the Pokemon X, Y, and Z series. Right now, we see one of the lead four members. She's, of course, like the news reporter for this. I forget her name always, um, but I'm just going to say news reporter. But anyway, she's talking about, like, what's uh, been happening to the Claws League so far. Because, unfortunately, we don't get the full episodes. Because they're rushing through this, and I hate it so much. But anyway, she's been talking about of what's going on right now. So, of course, we've seen the Alon versus Trevor battle. Alon destroys Trevor. Next up was the uh, Greninja. Of course, Ash versus the Katara guy. And, of course, Greninja dominates that Altaria. Then we're moving on to the Ash battle, which is really, really cool on this scene. Because the thing I love what they do for the Call of League is that they have different areas like in like the map like different terrains so of course when ash versus her opponent it was kind of like a beach area which is really really awesome i wish we would have seen that battle but of course pokemon doesn't uh do that thank you thank you over there japan but anyway uh so we see her winning that battle her celebrating and then we see the garchomp guy i forget his name i'm just gonna say garchomp guy and he's absolutely destroying that hydrogen over there which hydrogen is one of my favorite dragon types of all time but of course he just looks dominant right there and scary with that mega garchomp and then of course we saw the news reporter talking and then of course there goes the theme song getting right into the episode blah 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 everything like that and this has to be one of the most disappointing things i have ever seen in a pokemon episode like i thought throughout this episode because we've seen a whole bunch of previews and that through this episode it was going to be astrid versus ash and i thought what they're gonna do is do like half and half like you know like half is when they go to the, like that pokemon quiz thing and then return back like that kind of stupid thing right that's when it's half of the show i thought like that would be like the end of ash's battle and see the whole story no literally after that news report scene we've seen astrid versus ash right here we see mega absol fighting her lacha and literally like I, I would even say like a minute like literally a minute of their battle we see of course the absolute going down and fainting and ash wins the battle and gets in the top four like i said really big disappointment right there i'm angry about pokemon about that like i really wanted to see this battle come on and more of ash but of course it has to be kind of rushed right now and it's pathetic because we're getting a two-week break but maybe i kind of understand because the movie comes out next week right here and maybe they're having more promotion against that than the other episodes but still, I think it's still pathetic. But anyway, let's move on right now. I see Ash celebrating with her Lacha. And of course, the winner right there. And if we had the four placings right here, which is another thing. Like, I totally skipped, like, the top 32, the top 16, the top 8. Like, we're on the top 4 right now. Like, this is the semifinals. And this is as far as Ash has ever gone before. And it's still, like, a piss off that we couldn't see any of these matches anything together it would have been such great episodes for them but of course not because stupid team flare we probably have to do the team flare crisis and anything like that but we're looking at so far so we got a lawn right there and then we got ash and then there's two slots more opened right now still more at the call so we see ash Gennady here and we see ashley shota with him as well he's talking with ash uh playing some flashbacks like they all versus each other in the call league and shota is confident that he'll win his battle against tierno and versus ash and have that awesome rivalry battle which is actually next episode which i'm really really hyped about uh for this and of course now we see a team rocket scene right now as they're just exhausted with this i actually feel so bad for them of uh, the job and they just like faint they're just like i can't take this anymore and i just think that's kind of a funny part and then here goes another winner spot right here so this is actually the guard chomp guy that we went in a like scary freaking face right there man i don't want to mess with that dude but I'm sorry, man, Alon's gonna win against you and you're gonna become fourth place. Sorry to tell you, buddy. And the thing I really wanna see uh, through the next episode is I'm 
hoping at the start of the episode we see like a little battle like Mega Garchomp versus Mega Charizard and see like a little battle against this and of course I know like we all know Alon's gonna win so he's gonna move up but still I want to see the, the battle between these two and see how they are but uh, move along to the next one so of course we had the winner platform so he takes the third spot and there's one more to go right now and so this is the last match of I guess uh, I don't really know, like round 100, something like that. I'm not really too sure. But of course, now we have Shona joining the gang. She has missed the entire league and she finally arrived at Lumio City. Everyone's excited to see her. Welcome her, everything like that. She's happy to enjoy the show. Ash comes along and sees her, you know, gives her a uh, warm welcome. And now, time to get to the serious business with, of course, Tierno versus Shota. And this is like kind of like the main point of that. We have a rocky terrain right here, which is kind of cool serious spaces going on right now here and this is kind of cool right now is we see um shota's new pokemon uh a slash which is uh, actually a really really badass pokemon i love the third form of this uh which is really really cool and of course you know ash goes on this pokedex discovering it and he's fall to his third form right now and then of course we have tierno is the dance moves of the ludicolo and i think it's awesome because we all know ludicolo he's a dancing pokemon and it fits perfect for tierno and the battles begin so now we have ludicolo versus scene of course against eggy slash and starting off the bat, of course, Louis Cole puts up Rain Dance, uh, Sword Dance for Eggy Slash, and the fight still continues. Blah, blah, blah. Onto that good stuff right there. And also, like, the battle gets intense, everything like that. And this is a really cool battle because this is actually, like, a show or a Call of Sleek episode where we actually see a full battle. Like, this is the episodes I want to see throughout this instead of just like cutting in and out like the last episode did like we didn't really see full of trevor and alon's battle right there we only seen like the mega charizard x and y battle uh, which is still cool but of course we got a slash taking out uh lily colo and then he switches to his other pokemon which is raichu so we have raichu versus an eggy slash blah 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 to that and destroys a slash like raichu just dominates him right there and now we got Slurpuff right now which is his next Pokemon and then we have Team Rocket still blabbling they're still like hating their job but uh, this part was actually really funny to me I actually did like this part so of course Slurpuff uses a track on Raichu and the funniest part right here is like he's like making like laying down making kissy faces on the floor which is absolutely hilarious I loved it uh, and then another downside to this that I really hate so Tierno brings out his Blastoise and I thought you know Trevor he had to make a stone First Charizard, maybe Tierno can have a Mega Stone for his Blastoise, but he didn't, which is really, really unfortunate. But of course, the Blastoise destroys the Slurpuff, and he's at one more Pokemon left for Shota, which is a Skeptel. And I love that bandana or that like scarf he has for his Mega Stone there. It's an awesome spot. I love that so much. And like, I like the Skeptel absolutely dominates Blastoise, and he has he didn't even Mega Evolve at all. And now, last but not least, he brings out his Raichu. It's in a 1v1 right now. This battle is really, really intense. Shota is like, I had enough of this. Bam, Mega Evolves his Skeptel. And this is another thing I hated about this. Sorry for all the hate about this, guys, but literally, you gotta watch the episode before you watch this review right here. Uh, it is a good episode, but still at the exact same time, it was a very, very big disappointment all about this like the skeptile makes like this like like screeching sound which is absolutely terrible like it sounds like it's dying or something like that but he takes a thunder to the face because you know like rain dance and have thunder like make more electricity and it would take more damage but no it didn't affect mega skeptile whatsoever and now he's just attacking the leap blade and this thing is fast like i can't wait for the ash greninja versus mega skeptile battle like they're both like at the same speed bam like a double leaf blade and knocks at the raichu and there we go we have shota as the winner he takes a fourth and five Final spot in the semi-finals right now him and ash are looking together and know that they have made it and hope the verse and so now we have the card shuffling against the four players so of course we have a versus the garchomp guy and of course we have ash versus shota and this is a great match going uh whoever wins this of course will go into the final so after that you know they exit the area and ash uh totally forgot that he needs a six pokemon and so he's waiting for something to come down right now he's waiting waiting and guess what guys bam we see Gujra right there and I knew this was gonna happen like it was a total prediction when we saw that Gujra episode like why would they put that out of nowhere it's like it, you could totally tell right there so of course Gujra is back everyone's happy about that I'm happy as well 
Who doesn't love Gudra, right? Gudra is such an OP Pokemon. I love him so much. He's so great. And then we actually get a flashback to him in the Wetlands. So we didn't see this at the Wetlands episode. But after it was all done, Ash says, you know what, Gudra? Can you do a favor for me? Can you go to the call sleep with me when I need six Pokemon? And Gudra totally agrees with it. And, you know, Ash has his six Pokemon now. And then he brings in the six Pokemon he's having. Of course, we have Pikachu, Talonflame, Holacha, Greninja, Nuivern, and Gudra, which is this is just an OP squad in general. Like it's so good, and I'm actually so happy for Ash having a great ass team. Like just look at it right now. Just look look at that amazing team right now. And this is the thing that I like about it too, because I think this is like the only league that we've seen that Ash didn't actually bring a Pokemon back from Professor Oak's lab. Like he just kept the ones they had at close. And this is what I like, because this is really what I do in like the games as well. Is like if I have six Pokemon, I'm keeping those ones. Like it doesn't matter if I catch a legendary in that before the gym no no i'm starting with the pokemon that i've got before and that's what ash is doing right now which is awesome uh so that's the end of the episode right there as of course we see shota just looking over the league right now excited to be uh versing ash at the very end so out of this episode if i would give it out a 10 i would probably give it like a like a seven i i don't want to go low or anything like that on the episodes but i'm just i'm really really mad about what they did throughout these episodes like with the ash and astrid battle and everything like that like i feel like the only good part of, like about this episode was gudra returning as the six pokemon and also like a full length battle of the league against Tierno and Shota. But hope you guys all enjoyed. That is my review. If I've missed anything, just make sure to comment down below, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm gonna try to get this uploaded as quick as I can. And just thank you guys so much for the support and everything. If you guys haven't, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's try to get to 100, guys. Let's try to get to 100. We're halfway there. Let's do it. But much love, guys. Flame out. Peace.